Hey guys, how's it going? Phil here. So before I get too far into this video, I do want to apologize uh, about my voice. Uh, I am currently sick. It's just been a while since I've actually put out a video, so I decided to still go ahead and record today. So if you guys can please bear with me with that, it would be much appreciated. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the new fourth generation Apple TV. Now, I picked this up uh, earlier this week whenever the orders on Apple.com went live and received it today. And I'm super, super happy to have gotten my hands on my unit. So this specific version is the 32 gigabyte model, which retails for 149. There's also a 64 gigabyte version, but I thought that this was gonna be enough for me. Now, I've already gone ahead and taken the plastic wrap off because uh, I'm a terrible YouTuber. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pop right in, shall we? We're just gonna go ahead and lift the top off the box here. And we're greeted with a lot of different things. On this side, we have the new remote. This is the new Siri remote, which is something I'm really looking forward to. So we're definitely going to uh, dive into this a little bit closer with our testing. And I will also pull out the old remote in a little while so we can do some comparison there. <clears throat> Underneath the remote is where we have the power cable for the unit. Go ahead and put that back in there like so. Over here we have the unit itself, the Apple TV, which is a little bit taller than the previous gen, but I'll go ahead and compare that as well in a little bit. And then underneath here, we have all of our um, paperwork, including some Apple stickers I hear. Yes, there they are. I love my Apple stickers, as you guys know. As well as our full length lightning cable for the remote because now uh, the Apple uh, remote or the Siri remote in this case is rechargeable using a lightning cord. So we're going to go ahead and put the box to the side and we're going to take a look at um, the main two pieces of this in my opinion as far as you know comparison. So let's go ahead and take some plastic off here. And there we go. So let's take a look at that Siri remote first. So just taking a closer look at the actual unit, it's quite a bit different than the previous generation Apple remote. On the front we have a split design where the bottom here is glossy, kind of feels like glossy glass here at the bottom. And at the top you have this matte finish. Now this matte finish also shows where the trackpad is because there's a built-in touchpad up here for navigation that's replacing the kind of uh, circular wheel of the previous generation. As far as the buttons are, you have a menu button which acts mostly as a back button uh, whenever you're using the device. We have the home button which will bring you to the uh, first menu I believe. We have the Siri button, we have a play pause button, and we have a volume up and down button for if you integrate it further with your existing home theater system. So this is quite a big jump from what we used to have uh, with the Apple remote. Uh, this one was kind of a solid piece of aluminum that ran on button cell batteries and kind of, you know, did the job but only just. Whereas this feels a lot more solid. It's not as rounded off like the older remote is. It feels more solid in the hand and it's rechargeable using lightning which is definitely a nice touch. And here is the new Apple TV unit itself. Now, not much has changed from the fourth generation as what was left on the third gen, which is here in my right hand. Uh, the main differences you're gonna notice are in thickness. There's quite a big, or height, if you will. There's quite a big height difference there, as well as the actual in and out. So here are the ports that are included on the new Apple TV. We have our uh, power in, we have our USB type C port, which isn't really utilized much now, but will be more in the future. We have our HDMI 1.4 port, I believe it's 1.4. All I know is it's not gonna be supporting 4K, which is kinda sad. And we have our ethernet port. So compared to last generation's model, they dropped the optical audio, which is a bit disappointing. 
So this has just been a quick little unboxing of the new Apple TV. Are you guys going to be picking one up? Let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. It helps me out a lot, as well as leave a comment. Uh, comments are awesome. I love reading them. And to see more content like this whenever I produce it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, as well as follow me on all the social media that I'll have linked down in the video description. On behalf of RomantechReviews.com, I've been Phil Begno, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.